uh, let me start out with a reminder of what we were talking about in Tuesday's class. So we started a new topic on Tuesday. We started to talk about energy and work. And the main thing I want you to remember from Tuesday is the definition of work. We defined work as work is defined as product of force and displacement. And because force and displacement are both the vectors, when you multiply them now, you have to know the special rule for multiplying vectors. And in that context, we introduce the dot product. And the way we define dot product in a physics class, which is different from how you do it in a math class, is we say these are two arrows that looks like this. If you have a vector, for, vector f pointing in some direction, and you have vector delta x, pointing in some other direction. And there's an angle of theta between them. Then we define the result of the dot product without reference to any coordinate system. Just referring to these vectors and their relative directions, we say the work done is the force, the magnitude of force, times the distance, the magnitude of displacement, times cosine of the angle between them. And you'll find that this is the most useful way to calculate work in most cases. Um, for a couple exceptions that you see in your homework questions, we did go over last time how to start from here and get to the component-based definition that you may have seen in your math class. Yeah. So this is the main thing that I want you to remember because this is what we'll be using today to discuss what we are really interested in, energy. We are not really, I mean, so we introduce work so that we can talk about what we are going to talk about most of today and all of next week, the conservation of energy. It's one of the conserved quantities that will really make your job easier for um, uh, problem solving. 